Yo, it's Mr. 13 behind the camera. I've got Cyrus Malachi up in the building. Yeah, man, pleasure to have you on, on the channel, man. How yeah, you doing? Yeah, work one, work one. Yo, Cyrus Malachi, Triple Darkness, Authors of Kush, you know what it is. Uh, big up Mr. 13, Bones, the hip hop show, you get me, man's repping. Standard, yeah, yeah. You don't know we're playing your stuff a lot as well, though. Appreciate repping the course. That. Yeah, man. That. So, yeah, man, the first question we like to ask artists is like, how you chose your name, man? Like, you got a very unique name, bro. How did, how did yeah. you come about that, man? Okay. Um, Cyrus, obviously, it's quite a well known name, but a lot of people don't know the knowledge of the science behind it. I got that from King Cyrus of Persia which is the Medo-Persian Empire, which basically was a very prominent and, and famous king within that empire. I basically chose that because I like the sound of it, but obviously to represent the fact that I'm a king, you get me? Straight, man, a king out here, innit? Like, not in a arrogant way, not in the way the ignorant cat might perceive that. I mean, king as in, you know, certain... Certain lineage, royal lineage, and bloodline and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? The Malachi, that basically comes from the Hebrew word Malak, which means messenger. You get what I'm saying? Which also, angel derives from an angelos and all of that, which basically just means messenger. You get me? So I'm a messenger. And a king. You know what I mean? That's it. All right, man. The king, the sit, Cyrus deep, Malachi. Deep. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. So, how did you first like get into writing lyrics and stuff? What, what made you pick up that pen? If you can, Ooh. try to remember that first lyric. You know what I'm saying? That you nah. first put pen to paper. Nah, there's no way I can <laughs> remember that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how about the first lyric you recorded then? That was a minute ago. Um, let me think. Um, the first lyric I recorded was when I was about seventeen. All right. And that was with my boy, uh, Crown Nectar, formerly known as the Sheeran. People who check for Triple Darkness will know who that, that is. Uh, it's one of my, my rhyming codes, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, bro, back when I was 17, uh, in Hackney, on the blocks or whatever, learned to write or started to try and write whatever. That's when I could recall writing my first round and spitting my first round. But I probably wrote my first actually earlier than that, maybe 15. But proper round, I'm about 17 still. Yeah, well yeah. you can't you can't remember a couple of bars now. Like nah, that first you tune. Can't. You know what, it ain't even, it ain't even, <laughs> it ain't even a, like, a fronting tin. You or just some, can't remember it. some fake shroom night ain't that, <laughs> man, you get me? If I, if I could actually remember, I'll spit it. Straight. I'm a real dude, I'll spit it. But I can't like. All right, cool, I've bro. Got so many bars. I hear that, bro. I hear from that. From my more, you know, what I would class my more serious level of writing. Like, I just, I just don't remember, bro. Shit. All right, all right. All right. Life, and I just, I'm the kind of guy if you, if I was to hit the bar, I could memorize it. With yeah, yeah. You I hear you. I hear you. All right, yeah. but well, when you first started writing, who was influencing you? Who like you know what I mean? What kind of rappers were you listening wow, to? Man. I mean, I came up on a straight creme de la creme, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, first of all, you know, hands up, I'm a straight woo guy. That's that's my shit, you know what I mean? Like, through and through. Um, I mean, I could, I could mention individual artists, like, from the woo, obviously, like, Raekwon, the chef. Uh, Alright, then who's your favourite artist out of the woo, then? Ah, come on. <laughs> I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Narrow it down to like three then. There's, there's enough of them. I could probably give you my top four. Wow, all right, all right. Which, no, five. Have to wow, five. all right, top five. Be the chef Rick one. Right, number one. Uh, right. Only bought for Cuban Links 2, which came out last yeah, year. Yeah, man, check for that. Yeah, man. One of the greatest records of this decade. Uh, the only records I feel rival in that of this decade, the, the, the 2 triple O era, would be. Supreme Clientel and Let's Get Free uh, by Dead Prez. Uh, Supreme Clientel obviously being by Ghost. But anyway, yeah, Raekwon, uh, Ghostface Killer, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Jizzle, okay. I have to say. Uh, I want to see if Meth makes it in there. Man. Meth? Nah. Nah, I didn't Don't think so. Wrong. Back in the day, Meth had, Meth had bad charisma and shit. That's the thing, though. you got to love the, the, the whole thing with him, the whole package, you know what I mean? Like, Nah, man, that nigga <laughs> fell off, bro. Like, I don't know about the meth in it. Like, nah, he ain't in my top five. All right. So what I say, Jizza Ray Ghost, mm. uh, Kappa. Kappa Donna. I'm going to throw be. that out there. Uh, the Pillage, one of the most underrated albums of all time. 
And number five, I'm going to go outside of the Wu, but within the Wu family. And that's Killer, Killer Priest. Killer Priest, alright, yeah, yeah. Also one of the greatest lyricists. In my top Another underrated one, yeah, man. Term. He's got a new thing out as well, still, that yeah, Elizabeth thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's all fire, man. Priest. Straight. Prolific writer, that's all I've got to say about that. Prolific, extremely gifted, genius, actual, sheer genius with the pen. Straight, man. You know what I mean? But also other influences I came up on, you know, just the good shit. Yeah, the boot camp click, you know what I mean? Your Helter Skelters, your, your Smith and Wessons, you know what I'm trying to say? Right. Um, and more than a laid back tip, other people think people think that Cyrus is only yo hard, hard, hard. I was I was a big Tramp Called Quest fan. All right. Q Tip, that's a musical genius. You know Straight. what I mean? The uh, consequence. Yeah. Try uh, five, sorry, five dog. I love oh, yeah, them, yeah. man. Um, who else? Far side. You know I love Far mm. Side going up on a more calm tip. Roots, Illadelph, Half Life. Wow. Damn, check that album. That's heritage. Obviously, I'm a Queensbridge man. Nas. You know what I mean? Tragedy, Gaddafi, yeah. um, Capone and Noriega in their prime. You know what I mean? Just yeah, man. De la crap, bro. But you're you, bro. just a flip it on the west side, Raskas, you know what I mean? Okay. Soul All right, I'm bro, from that era, names. you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I feel is the golden era of hip-hop, which sure. I believe is, you know, 90s, the 90s. I would say from 1990 to 98. All right, all and right. And 98, which I feel is the golden era. Ah, cool, bro. All right.